uh, so here with you Anna Tutela, founder of Coins Telegram, and we are in Singapore at Filecoin Conference. And uh, we are with uh, Colin Avran, who is the ecosystem lead of Protocol Labs, the company behind uh, Filecoin, uh, which is a uh, distributed uh, storage data company. Great to have you here, Colin. Great to have you too, and thank you for having me on your show. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us about your background and how did you get involved into this space? Definitely. So I have a business background. Uh, most of my you know, background was you know, in investing. Mm -hmm. uh, I have an MBA from Stanford, and I launched my own startup before this. And a good friend of mine introduced me to Juan in 2017, and I just absolutely fell in love with the mission to upgrade the internet to make it faster, safer, more resilient to attack and more open. And so join Protocol Labs about five and a half years ago now, helped launch Filecoin and uh, now helping build, build the ecosystem. So was it your first and only involvement into crypto? Like you were, you were not involved in any other blockchain startups before? Not, not startups. Uh, you know, I was an investor in crypto for a long time, but really, like it was the mission of upgrading the internet that brought me in versus you know broader crypto, and then became immersed in the crypto space ever since. Yeah, that's great. So, why did you see the values that it will be the future, the decentralized storage? You know, I, I gotta believe that if we zoom out thirty years from now, mm -hmm. I just don't believe there is a world where Amazon Web Services or Google Cloud holds all of the world's information in mm -hmm. one centralized company or place, right? I just don't think that's what users want. I don't think that's what like society wants. Mm -hmm. And that's currently where things are going. I mean, uh, between Microsoft, Google, and AWS, they control like 80, 90% of the world's cloud information. Mm -hmm. And so you, you absolutely need an alternative and uh, Filecoin provides that alternative. It's you know basically like Airbnb for cloud storage, data centers from all over the world can plug in, store the world's information in a bit of a different way. Um, and we've reached the scale of like the large centralized cloud providers or about one to 2% of the world's cloud storage. Mm -hmm. And so really believe this is good for society. It's good for users. It's good for the world's information. And um, I'm very passionate about delivering that. Yeah, that's true. And you made such a big progress since 2017. Uh, so can you tell about some latest developments? You just announced yesterday master plan. Can you tell more what it is? and? Uh, what's the idea? Definitely. So uh, the Filecoin master plan is three steps. One is build the world's largest decentralized storage network, which mm -hmm. we have done in the last year and a half. This is about amassing as much hardware and storage into the Filecoin economy as possible. And so right now we have over 4,000 storage providers providing uh, 17 exabytes of storage. It's about 1% of the world's cloud storage, mm -hmm. right? Phase two is fill all of that storage with useful data and safeguard humanity's information. Mm -hmm. And so we have been um, onboarding all sorts of different data sets from Web 2, NFTs, and other blo uh, blockchain-related data from Web 3. And uh, in the last year alone, since the beginning of 2022, we've 7.5x the amount of data stored on Filecoin. Mm -hmm. Um, we're actually bigger than many like centralized public companies in the Web3 mm -hmm. space in terms of scale, which is incredible. And then step three of that master plan is bring compute to the data so you can actually enable web style applications. So mm -hmm. if we can deliver on that, you can basically bring things like Twitter or Twitch or YouTube, really large scale applications in the Web2 space can like port over, mm -hmm. store their data and actually run compute processing on top of all that data in 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 the in the Filecoin ecosystem, and so that to me is the way you like cross the chasm where ninety nine percent of all of the world is still on Web two infrastructure. Mm -hmm. You can move all of that into Web three um, if Filecoin can deliver on that master plan, which uh, you know we're set to do that in the next couple of years. And do you already have any large corporations which use Filecoin? Definitely. Uh, so there's um, UC Berkeley is backing up a lot of their genomics data sets. Uh, we have the Shoah Foundation, which is backing up all sorts of genocide uh, testimonial videos. We have the New York uh, government backing up all of their open data sets onto mm -hmm. Filecoin because, because of their immutability. And so we have all sorts of like um, really inspirational data sets from the Web2 space that are starting to use Filecoin. In addition to most NFT platforms and a lot of the Web3 data as well. 
and we are now in Singapore to have bigger plans for the development here. Do you pl uh, will you work with the government here as well? Definitely. So um, Singapore is one of the fastest growing uh, regions for Filecoin storage fighters. It grew about 30% between Q2 and Q3 of this year. Um, so we're investing heavily behind the storage provider community here. Mm -hmm. And we believe there's like a very active developer community that's coming as well. So there was a, a bunch of activity around kind of this conference, mm -hmm. startups pitching, storage providers discussing things, clients starting to store data. And so we want to capitalize on all that. Yeah, and uh, you just yesterday had uh, Falcon VC Day, and you have a bunch of projects in your ecosystem. Can you tell more about this? Sure, yeah, we had 25 uh, startups from the Falcon ecosystem pitch, uh, three minutes each, and there was about 400 investors in the room, mm -hmm. and there were hundreds of connections made, uh, so that we had an online tool where investors can indicate interest of investing in a startup, and there were hundreds of those connections made. Mm -hmm. uh, and the startups were all, all over the place like nft.storage and web3.storage they now have uh, 80,000 users with 140 million uploads in NFTs and other web data, which is really cool. They're going to market for the first time to fundraise. We have Huddle01, which is uh, kind of like Zoom uh, video conferencing on Web3. Uh, Masari Crypto just dropped Zoom as, a, as their provi provider and now is fully on Huddle01, which is all on Web3 tech, including IPFS and Filecoin. Uh, and, uh, you know, a whole bunch of other different startups in the space, uh, Fleek, Tableland, uh, 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 Lighthouse, which is kind of like perpetual storage on Filecoin mm -hmm. and many, many others. Yeah, and as well, recently you launched, uh, Falcon launched its nodes into space. So can you tell more about like what, why was that idea? Totally. So uh, the Falcon Foundation partnered with Lockheed Martin to launch IPFS into space. Um, the reality is like, um, traditional Web2 protocols won't ever work in space because they kind of find the information based on where it is, not what it is. Mm -hmm. And so uh, IPFS was designed to be the interplanetary file system and uh, it's finally coming to a reality. So they're launching an IPFS node in space, which would basically serve as like the foundational internet for any kind of space related thing. And so it's a pretty cool project. Yeah, it sounds exciting. And as well, can you share your thoughts? How do you see the current market? Like you obviously been through uh, a few bear markets already, but it seems some kind of different. Like what developments do you see in this space? Totally. What I'm excited about is um, I, I really believe our communities, Falcon, IPFS, LibP2P, they do their best work in bear, bear markets. Uh, in the last bear market, LibP2P was adopted by Ethereum 2 as their underlying messaging network. Mm -hmm. IPFS uh, improved its performance dramatically and became the default kind of peer-to-peer -peer protocol of the web and we did all the development and research and launched Filecoin. Mm -hmm. So um, so far this year like we've been in a bear market since the beginning of 2002. Filecoin has onboarded 7.5x the number of data the amount of data it did mm -hmm. at the beginning of the year. So bear markets I believe is where our communities really rally um, mm -hmm. and go towards like a mission oriented approach. And I think that we're going to make a tremendous amount of progress in this bear market. So I'm more focused on kind of the adoption metrics mm -hmm. than some of the um, noise in the bear market. So in uh, which industries do you see the blockchain application the most useful, the most needed? Yeah, so um, for Filecoin, uh, we're looking at like industries that have large amounts of data that need to run like compute over that data. Mm -hmm. um, so things like uh, genomics, um, neutrino data, mm -hmm. um, you know, large, large data sets um, that, you know, you know, especially in academic settings mm -hmm. where, you know, it's really, really expensive to host all that kind of stuff yeah. on a centralized provider like AWS. So that's kind of like a major thing that we're like going towards. Mm -hmm. um, in the Web3 space, uh, you know, all sorts of stuff like NFTs is obviously a big thing. Gaming is coming mm -hmm. to the blockchain space. And so Filecoin is like very ready to like serve up a lot of those use cases mm -hmm. as well. And uh, with the Filecoin virtual machine that's launching in Q1, this enables smart contracts on Filecoin, which yeah. makes it very easily interoperable with all the other blockchains in the space. Mm -hmm. So for example, it's fully interoperable with EVM, the Ethereum mm -hmm. virtual machine. You could basically port over any other smart contracts directly onto Filecoin and make mm -hmm. it really useful in that, in that respect.
Yes, it's great. And can you share as well some upcoming plans for the development of Filecoin? Yeah, I think the really big one is launching Filecoin Virtual Machine in, mm -hmm. in Q1. Um, so this will enable a multi-billion dollar DeFi economy. It'll enable like perpetual storage where you can just upload files and it'll guarantee that those files will be on Filecoin forever. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be, be able to port over a whole bunch of like contracts from the Ethereum mm -hmm. space into Filecoin as well. And so that's a really, really big deal and a complete inflection point for the Filecoin community because um, you can do a lot more and interact with a lot of smart mm -hmm. contract platforms. Um, and so there are about 25 builders um, already building on that today. There'll be multiple hundreds by the time we launch. And so it's a pretty exciting development. Yeah, that's great. So we'll see, uh, we'll wait in for more success for you from you. Thank you for interesting conversation. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. <laughs>